I was, went out to my boot training in 1942, January 1942, platoon of 150. When we got to the train station, we met uh, the devil and uh, his two associates, Sergeant Allen, Corporal Rice, and uh, Corporal Alexander. We were still using World War I gear. I was issued the you old know, Springfield 03. The first couple of weeks was uh, really kind of tough because we, we were getting used to everything. Our, our muscles were sore from all the activity that was going on. And by the end of first phase, uh, we had pretty well grouped together and we're now a, a, a good unified unit, uh, able to respond very quickly to drill instructor's orders and understanding what the consequences were if we didn't. I remember the first time I pulled the trigger on an M16A2 and I could hear the thunk of the hammer hitting, and then when the weapon fired, I could hear the recoil of the action spring or buffer spring recoiling inside the butt stock. The hikes were always brutal, the grit and the dirt, and it was hot because we were in the summer. That's where a lot of my platoon really came together to help each other out through something that was very, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally challenging. All the way up to the Reaper, there was a lot of mixed feelings because it was like, okay, here's another hill, here's another hill. And then it's like, we get excited and then, but once we got to that last hill, it was, okay, we're here. And then um, we stopped to change our covers and it's like, well, we're about to be up there and you know, get our globe and anchor. Through all of us, we were just tired at that point. But once we got the packs back on and they said, Okay, we're going to war cry and we're going to sprint up the hill. There is a lot of energy between everybody. And there it didn't really hit me. I think it was right before then, right before the big hill, when we came up, our senior drill instructor said, well, look out there, like, the view is beautiful. And they said, you just hiked all of that. You hiked all the way up here. And I think that's when it really sat in. A century of development has created a training environment at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego that has marked its place in history and will be compared to that of the greatest military organizations our world has known. While each generation of Marine Corps training has brought with its changes and improvements, the legendary transformation that occurs here will forever remain the same. Our core values of honor, courage, and commitment will continue to be imbued in every recruit that steps onto our yellow footprints for the next 100 years.